Hello, I'm Dr. Anil Gode, a consultant in reproductive medicine surgery at the Homerton Fertility Center in London. And today I want to talk about a, a, an excellent paper, a paper that often challenges our routine concepts, and that is the one on levothyroxine in women with thyroid peroxidase antibodies positive. Now, what has been our normal practice? Our practice has been that we have been treating antiperoxidase antibodies in women with uh, coming in for fertility treatments with thyroxine. And that's become almost a routine practice. Though the evidence has been patchy, we have routinely kept on giving uh, thyroxine to uh, these women. So there, in March 2019, a study came out which looked at levothyroxine in women with thyroid peroxidase antibodies before conception. And a, a very well done study which was randomized, controlled and uh, if looked at what would be the impact of giving thyroxine and whether if you gave thyroxine you would uh, start lowering the chance of miscarriage. Also, this also gives us a different view into some people giving steroids for anti, you know, TPO antibodies to reduce the immune response. And again, in these cases, this was not given. So again, it gives us an additional information that may uh, be going on. So let's look at where we are placed historically. And historically, we see a systematic review of 31 studies, which found a, an association between TPO antibodies and miscarriage at a very powerful relationship. And these were patients who were having a miscarriage or were infertile and were selected in the selected population. Now there were three randomized controlled trials done in this uh, were selected three very good studies. Two of the studies which had a pool data showed a lower incidence of miscarriage for those taking thyroxine. 115 cases, 72 of them going for assisted reproductive technology. Then a third trial which looked at 600 patients, a much larger study, and it showed there was, there was no reduction in women taking levothyroxine in miscarriages. So where do we stand? The entire evidence to support the use of levothyroxine remains inconclusive. In 2017, the American Association stated that there was insufficient evidence to determine whether levothyroxine therapy decreases pregnancy loss in TPO antibody positive. And where they said is somebody had a miscarriage earlier, it would make sense to give it to previous pregnancy losses at a minimal, uh, since it has a minimal risk. So here comes a study, very well conducted, which was done in 49 hospitals initially started with patients with one or more miscarriages, but later on expanded to all patients having fertility treatment, 16 to 40 years, history of miscarriage or trying for a pregnancy, thyroid function test and TPO antibodies, U-thyroid defined as TSH of 0.44 to 3.63. Have a look at it, not 2.5, but 3.63 considered to be U-thyroid and T4 at 10 to 21 pmol a liter. TPO antibodies had to be present, randomized one in one ratio, 50 milligram thyroxine was given to one group and placebo to given to another group immediately after randomization. Initiated before conception and continued after pregnancy. So here again, what are we challenging? We, uh, they, they have looked at the study which basically said if you have thyroid antibodies present, do you give thyroxine? And does thyroxine improve outcome of pregnancy? So let, let's look at the results. Live birth rate in the levothyroxine group 37.4%, in the placebo group 37.9%. Miscarriage less than 24 weeks, 28.2% and 29.6%. No difference. Looked at ongoing pregnancy at 12 weeks, 12.9% and 73%. Again, very little evidence. 
Less than 34 weeks prematurity, again, there was no difference. So if you look at the results, does giving thyroxine lower the chance of miscarriage? The answer is no. Does it lower the chance of having any complication? The answer is absolutely no. This trial was larger than other studies. Liver, women with levothyroxine had higher T4 levels in placebo, but did not seem to it was relevant in this case. And there was no difference in the live birth rates with the use of 50 microgram of levothyroxine started before conception. Now, what does this study tell us? And I think it's not, I don't think any study is a final uh, endpoint because you, you know, multiple RCTs have been done, and, and this is a question which has been quite often asked. There's no doubt that we are seeing a rise in TPO antibodies and some of some people believe that it's because um, the iron replacement system was kicked in about 30 or 40 years ago and generally uh, the way our immunology evolves is we tend to start seeing more antibodies come up and I think that's that is it's a questionable science but I think that's how immunology probably works in the in the human uh, race. And suddenly what you see is you see some miscarriages occurring and you put two and two together. And at present what this has told us, this has shown us that it really those TPO antibodies don't seem to increase miscarriage, whether you treat them or you don't treat them, provided your TSH is less than 3.63. And I think that, that is something which is still workable. At what TSH level do you really start treating? And I don't think anybody knows that. Uh, the second and the most important thing that we have to think about is there are people I have seen giving steroids for TPO antibodies. Bizarre. And the their logic is, well, the, this is the commonest immune problem and it's true. Thyroid problems are the commonest immune problems that we see in the human being. So if you are seeing immunology there, then and it must be connected somewhere. So let's give steroids. Completely bizarre. The study also suggests that none of these women were on steroids and the loss was not increased in any uh, uh, place. So I think it's it's not a very well documented and very empirical treatment with significant side effects. I feel that there is a role of expanding the study into looking at, at OR3 or 4 TSH. What would be uh, with TPO antibodies? Is there a role of TSH uh, giving a thyroxine? And I don't think we know this answer yet. Also, I think the worrying factor is that how low do we get your TSH level and do we get it to under one? And we don't have all those answers. We have a very empirical way of thinking over these problems. And I don't think we are entirely sure at what level we need to keep the TSH for a successful pregnancy. And we don't know. So I would say what we have got from the study is that routinely, if you are going to see somebody with a TSH of of less than 3.63 and TPO antibodies, the role of giving a levothyroxine is getting limited. Thank you very much. And I hope that in the next few uh, days we'll be able to discuss many of these cases and I think we'll be putting back at least two uh, talks per week uh, to be able to uh, try and challenge some of the concepts, case discussions to uh, going ahead with uh, you know reviews of journals. Thank you very much.